Hi and assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, we will present uh, the report for experiment 2, single stage compressor for thermodynamics and mechanics of material laboratory. We are group 8 from section 2, consists of Muhammad Amin, Navi Raja, Amir Hakim, lastly me, myself, Aida Zahira. Our lecturer is Dr. Mama Arif Sazali. So my next member will continue this presentation. Hello. My name is Muhammad Amin Bimanab and now I will explain to you guys about the abstract. Compressor is a device used to increase the pressure of compressible fluid by reducing the fluid specific volume during passage of the fluid through compressor. One of the basic aims of compressor usage is to compress the fluid then deliver it to a higher pressure than its original pressure. This is an introductory experiment of single stage compressor that related with energy balance. This experiment explores and shows the work of principle of a compressor such as heat loss from a compressor. When the power and motor is switched on, the temperature of the outlet air is recorded until two consecutive readings are the same in order to distinguish the rate of single stage compressor heat up. The graph is plotted in order to analyze the heating curve and behavior of the single stage compressor. The outlet temperature of the compressor will increase exponentially with the time after analyzing the data obtained throughout the experiment. Hi everyone, my name is Ram Raja Balasubramaniam and today I am going to explain about objective methodology and also procedure on single stage compressor experiment. So for now, uh, objective we have listed two objectives for this experiment. So the first one is to evaluate how quickly a single stage compressor heats up and the second one is to analyze the steady state heat loss of a single stage compressor. So these are the two objectives for this experiment. So we'll move on to next. Next, about the theory. A fixed volume of air is trapped between two sliding vanes driven by an offset rotors in a standard single stage vane compressor. The volume of air is pressed to the outlet where the area is diminished. Thus, the pressure is higher and it is pressed out of the outlet port. The single stage air compressor works using the force of a piston and pressure sensitive valve which consists of rotary vane type air compressor coupled to turn on mounted electric motor and attached to a spring balance. Figure 1 shows a schematic of single stage compressor. Here is some of the equation that we might use in this experiment. Like specific volume through flow meter, volumetric flow rate, mass flow rate, energy added by air by compressor, power up of motor, heat emitted from compressor. That's all from me. Thank you. The next slide is uh, methodology. So apparatus is basically it's a single stage compressor. So I've listed the components in the single stage compressor that used. So the first one is outlet pressure control valve. The second one is P2 outlet air pressure. The third one is P1 internal air pressure. Fourth one is T temperature one or T1 inlet air temperature. Fifth one is T2 outlet air temperature. The sixth one is compressor. Seven is electric motor. It is spring balance, 9 is airflow meter, and also 10th one is inlet pressure control valve. So these are the uh, apparatus or components that use in a single stage compressor. So we will move into the procedure. So actually for the procedure, the first one is the power switch that, uh, was turned on and the green inlet valve was fully open. Uh, for example, in this case, the turn the valve anti-clockwise to open it. And the initial reading for all parameters given in table 1 were recorded at the beginning of the experiment. A tachometer was used to record the motor speed. 
which is N. So the motor switch was turned on to rec in order to uh, record. And the fifth one is using the red outlet valve, the compressor outlet pressure or P2 was set up to one bar gauge. For example, turn the valve clockwise to increase the pressure. So the spring balance was adjusted to ensure that the indicator on the motor is between the two black line pre-op. For example, before recording any motor force values. The seventh one is the temperature of the outlet air, which is T2, was recorded at one minute interval. For example, use a stopwatch until the until the two consecutive readings are the same. For example, less than 0.5%. And the next one is how to stop the experiment. There, I've listed three methods, which is the first one is the red valve was used to reduce the compressor outlet pressure P2 to 0 bar gauge. For example, turn the valve anti-clockwise to decrease the pressure because just now you, we, it, uh, to increase the pressure, we, used, we need to turn the valve clockwise to increase the pressure. So it's like uh, relating it's if anti-clockwise means decrease the pressure, clockwise means increase the pressure. And the second one is the motor switch was turned off. And also the third one is the power switch was turned off. This is steps to stop the experiment. And uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, then my teammate will continue with the result and discussion. Assalamualaikum, Dr. Arif. My name is Samir Hakim Amizu, and I will cover for the result and discussion part. Okay, for the result, we plot the outlet temperature T2 data over time, which is the data from the table 2 heating curve. This is the graph uh, that from the figure one graph of the outlet temperature against time uh, for the y-axis is we use for outlet temperature T2 and the x-axis is a uh, time from uh, zero data to 29 data and we can found that the graph is slightly curved and this is uh, the calculation for uh, to plot the energy added to air by compressor and heat emitted from the compressor against time. Okay, first one the formula calculate to calculate the V naught, which is R T naught divided by P naught, and we got the V naught is equal right zero point eight five six meter cubic kilogram negative one, and second we calculate the volumetric flow rate, which is V is equal to zero point zero five. And for the three, uh, third calculation is mass flow rate, which is M equal to V over V naught. And we got the M is 0 0.0584 kilogram per second. And next, we calculate for the energy added to air by compressor, which is HC. And HC, we got the value is 1.64.36 watt. And apart from that, we calculate for the power of, of a motor, which is WM, and the calculate the the value is nine nine hundred twenty point five eight watt. And lastly, we calculate the heat emitter from compressor, which is QC equal to WM that minus AC that we obtain, and the QC's value is seven five six point two two watt. Okay. This is the data from the experiment uh, that we use. Length of top arm is equal 0 0.2 meter. And for the compressor sweat volume, which is VCOM, equal to 267. And specific heat capacity of air is equal to 0, uh, 1, 1005. And this is the table one, a list of parameter for the single stage compressor unit. And this is the value we got from uh, the experiment and this is for the table 2 uh, which is outlet temperature data over time first uh, we run the the experiment uh, from 0 to 29 minutes and we record the temperature from the 0 to 29 minutes and after that after calculation for SC and QC we got the value for SC and QC respectively. Okay, from the calculation and the, uh, the table two, we also we got the plot for graph energy added to air by compressor against time. For this is a figure two, 
and you can see that the y axis is energy add to air by compressor which is against time and for the figure 3 is a graph of heat emitted from the compressor which is qc against time uh, the figure 3 is slightly different uh, different curve like slight going down and for the figure 1 and figure 2 is slightly curve a uh, same curve Okay, for discussion, uh, first discussion is why is the heating up curve this shape? Okay, uh, we run the, we plot the graph, three graph. First, outlet temperature, energy applied to the air by the compressor. Uh, okay, okay, first, first graph is outlet temperature and energy applied to the air by the compressor, which is graph two and heat released by the compressor is the graph 3. Okay, uh, the evidence from the experiment is increasing and decreasing over time as seen in these three graphs, which is figure 1, figure 2 and figure 3. Graph 1 and graph 2, as I said, represented increasing data, while graph 3 represent decreasing data. As a result, graph 1 and 2 observe a heating up curve, while graph 3 experience a heating down curve because of the heat transfer, which is Q, the graph in this experiment followed the heating curve. Heat transfer to a system, also known as a heat gain, increase the energy of the molecule and slightly the internal energy of the system while heat trans transfer from the system, also known as a heat loss, decrease uh, since the energy transfer out as heat comes from the energy of the system molecule. If we see the graph too, uh, the value of energy applied to the air by the compressor has a risen over time, which is increased. It, it occurs because the compressor operation provided sufficient pressure and energy for the air to the exit the compressor. The greater the energy applied to the air by the compressor as a result of the work performed by the compressor, the longer it takes for the compressor to work. Work can be transformed into an energy flow involving a force working over a distance. This is for the first discussion. Okay, the second discussion is what is happening to the energy that is being input to the system as it is out. Okay, uh, the answer is the compressor heats the air, allow the temperature to increase and then stabilize at a certain point before reach their thermal equilibrium. This illustrates the energy inputted into the system is absorbed by system and energy is lost to the atmosphere or surrounding in the form of heat. For the third discussion, how does the amount of energy lost as heat compared to the work input to the compressor and the heat added to the air? Okay, as compared to the work input to, to the compressor, the amount of energy lost as heat was smaller, which is the uh, which is small. The energy loss as heat, on the other hand, is smaller as compared to the heat applied into the air. The heat generated by the compressor, QC, was the heat loss in this experiment, while the energy applied to the air compressor is was usable energy used to compress the air. The work input to the compressor was supplied by the motor's output power, which remained constant uh, along during the experiment. Energy cannot be created or destroyed according to the first law of thermodynamic. As a result, energy input was converted into heat released by the compressor and energy applied to the air in this experiment. The higher the temperature different, the more energy is applied to the environment and the lower the energy loss according to the data. This means that the compressor was more efficient at higher temperature. Uh, that's all for me, uh, from me and us. Thank you, Dr. Arif. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aida Zahira Azha, and I will conclude this experiment. Based on the experiment, the outlet temperature T2 gradually increased exponentially from 55 degrees Celsius initially until 135 degrees Celsius where it remains constant after 28 minutes of heating. Steady state occurred at T equals to 28 minutes as 
the energy added by compressor and heat emitted from compressor remains at 633.96 Watt and 286.62 Watt respectively. During the heating process, the energy added to air by compressor HC also increases while the heat emitted from the compressor QC decreases with time. It can be deduced that there are energy losses as uh, the input energy is converted into heat and sound energy. The temperature will decrease by half if the compressor outlet pressure P2 is reduced from 1.0 bar to 0.5 bar, hence reducing the heat emitted from the compressor as well. The heating time could be longer while the shape of the graph will be less steep. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you.